Right, hello everybody, welcome to uh, welcome to the game after the Sager game, as we're now 350 TV down with uh, no bashing potential, <laughs> versus a team with three claw mighties, including a strength five claw mighty, he's got five guard, full claw pommer, what do, what do we have? Well... We've got a rookie Chaos Warrior as the ball carrier. And some fucking useless tents now. And only three guard. Brilliant. Brilliant. What a horrible... Horrible, horrible... Horrible crap team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dev. The, the chance of the chance of me dicing him not as high as I think as the chance of me getting diced in the previous game, but never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have flat fart. End of line. Fuck them in the pussy. Oh well, I did better than last game already. Thanks for the bits. Um. <laughs> what, where's Sage thingy? I don't know. Yeah. Sage advice. All the Northerners are going to start now, aren't they? With no, no I won't give in. Glorious. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much, NB, for staying fantastic for over, over an entire year. Over three whole Viva pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah. The Beastman. Oh, do you mean Sage Advice? <laughs> do you mean Sage Advice? <laughs> sage Advice. Don't roll shit. <laughs> it's good advice. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Flatfart is God. To be fair, Flatfart is God. So, hopefully he can carry the team by himself the way Sage has been carried by his jump up claw pommer. The bad thing is, of course, um, I don't know it, Dev. I don't know if he's seen it. It doesn't matter, does it? It's not him. It's just it's just a beast man that I've drawn. It's not a picture of Sage. <laughs> No resemblance to uh, to say it whatsoever. Two strength four tents, in fact, because I specifically didn't take piling on because I already had four piling on, and I thought, well, I don't need fucking five piling on, do I? Well, I wouldn't have had five piling on for very fucking long. So now I've got no mighty blow, no ball carrier, nothing, <laughs> just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pathetic. It's just an absolutely fucking pathetic team. Ugh. Yeah, I know that was stupid of me, wasn't it? That was really stupid of me to uh, think that. Yeah, logics. Yeah, it probably is. It's stupid, isn't it? I've gone from the best team in Rebel to just like a shit team in Rebel. <laughs> I'm very sad. I'm very sad to go from the best team in Rebel to a shit team in Rebel. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. So we can get him in there. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, Tony, hello. I'm going to try and roll better, Tony. Yeah, perfect defense or blitz. No. All right, a agreed re-roll. Fantastic. Yeah, well done, Tony. Congrats. Got absolutely banged on P Papa Piccolo. Yeah, the worst I've ever been banged on in my entire lifetime of playing Blood Bowl. The absolute number one bang. Oh, 
Rolling a bit like Sage. Glorious. Oh, pitch up the ball and everything. Glorious. Already more removal than the entire match against Sage. On <laughs> turn one. <laughs> Attrition Fireball. Yeah, I could have done, couldn't I? I could have Attrition Fireball, but no, hopefully I can save it to steal a ball off him or whatever. <laughs> Block Mighty Blow Claw and just roll doubles. I mean, there's the option to go to but I'd just go piling on. Piling on on both full balance. I go for a T and a wee and come back <laughs> to Jimmy dicing someone. What the actual fuck? You could give him tackle. And then give the other one panning on, I guess. I, will, I don't like jump up without panning on, personally. But there you go. Um, I'm not really dicing, is it 2KOs? But it's lucky. Lucky with only Claw Mighty. It's not it's not a sage game yet. Yeah. Not cast? Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. Not cast. Well, it was, it was, yeah, it was marginally lucky, wasn't it? It wasn't like a big deal. It's just a bit of luck. It was just a bit of luck, wasn't it? It wasn't, it wasn't anything outrageous. He's got a pummer, he just didn't blitz with him. Can't believe he says shit ballon. But 
Look at that, keeping the ball safe. Outrageous. Outrageous behaviour. We lost one of the strength up guys. Not terrible. It's just that they lost three Chaos Warriors that had piling on. <laughs> Claw Mighty Blow piling on. Guard. <laughs> Tackle. <laughs> A fucking flat fart failing his JFIs again. Jesus Christ. It is, it is blow, yeah. Especially when you've lost all your fucking warriors. <laughs> the, yeah, if I put there, he can just surf me easily. So, let's go there. I guess there is not easy to do anything with. There. There. Yeah, but they cost more on the foot pack, man. And I've just lost my three actual warriors, so it's not that. It's shit. It's a shit team. If you think this team isn't shit, you're just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, by the way. I like this team is sh is shit now, genuinely shit. It's all right against elf teams, but it's shit against bash teams. And it, and in fucking eternal leagues, you've got to fucking fight all the bash teams all the time. Who cares if if you lose to an elf team? So fucking what? If you lose to a bash team, you get your whole fucking team killed, don't you? So the fact that it's disadvantaged in bash games now is terrible, terrible news. Terrible. It's so bad. It's so fuck the team. <laughs> Ironically, I might have a better chance to win the whole thing with this team because at least I can beat the elf teams probably with you know not giving away as much inducements. It might, it'll probably be better against the elf team. But um, so ironically, might might win the uh, might win. Uh, no, I bought a rookie one. There's a rookie one with a ball now. Is a, a th oh, three superstar warriors, all about 100 SPPs. They all died the previous game. <laughs> oh, Chugman Mill. No, it's not a nice Chaos team at all. Shit. <laughs> it was once the best team in Rebel. Now it's probably the third worst in the first division. Maybe even second worst. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's, it depends on the draw, right? But it, it depends on the draw. and You know, obviously I'm still going to probably play better than the people I play with bash teams. Just more likely that they dice me. I'm still probably going to outplay everybody, it's just it's not going to matter, it just doesn't matter so much if you clash this is. doesn't matter if you play better. Most of the time. It's definitely not the worst because Dreamify's orcs are absolutely shit. <laughs> and Dreamify's orcs are absolute garbage, That's so, so it's definitely not the worst team in Division 1. No assist foul on Fat Fat, sure he will do. <laughs> oh, it's his own guy. It's not Fat Fat. He's not going to foul Flat Fat. Outrageous. Outrageous!
It's annoying that the frenzy trap puts me there, isn't it? I don't want a GFI just to hit, especially as I need two guards in. To make it a 2D. And it'd still be a frenzy trap, so I think blitzing this guy's best. Flanked him to base him, but then he gets in the way of this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I've got to go that way anyway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can move first. Yeah, it would definitely have been better. Yeah, Jahanian. If only I'd taken piling on instead of fucking tentacles. Could have piled on then, couldn't I? Stupid. Yeah, but I, I thought five would be kind of too many, but it wouldn't have been too many. The good thing is I can actually protect my good players now. <laughs> it was hard to protect my good players when I had seven good players. <laughs> now that I've only got four, it gets a lot easier to protect the good players. <laughs> Could have got a bit further forward, really, couldn't I? At least an extra square forward. But quite like getting back to the middle. No, Again, I giving won't a give in. Crap play at the until blitz. I'm victorious. Okay, he's defenseless. And I will defend. Down. So maybe I, I should have defend. given him a block guy to blitz. Oh, uh, yeah. But he can 3D him, can't he? Yeah, but I already had... Uh, thank you very much, by the way, but I already had fucking four claw pommers. I already had four claw pommers. So when you've got four claw pommers, tentacles on the fucking... on the beastman seems better, doesn't it? When you, <laughs> when you have that much fucking claw pommer already. Thank you very much. Helo man, is it? Helo man, that's how I'd imagine it would be. Helo man. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for nine months. One human pregnancy. Glorious. Uh, that, that was the thing with the pack, man. It, was, it would have been the fifth pile on, which is really, really a bit much. It got murdered, just a random person. <laughs> Sage diced the ever-loving shit out of me. <laughs> no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Lost 700 TV in one game. And I will defend. I will defend. 700 TV Can in one Can we game. not have Jim sad today, please? <laughs> Kill them, please. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Quackle Farga, for staying fantastic for two and a half beaver pregnancies. Absolutely If you want glorious. to be part of Team Positive, then uh, <laughs> you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Eh? Thank you very much. VIP Quackle Farga as well, isn't it? With a, with a sexy beastman drawing. <sighs> yeah, I lost 700 TV in one game. Which is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's funny if you if you like if you enjoy me see if you enjoy seeing me getting absolutely fucking wrecked, um, you'll have a lot of fun watching it. 
Il vient au secours de ce joueur Ça va faire mal Il s'acharne sur ce pauvre joueur Comme des halflings autour d'un sandwich Fucking stun for me Stand firm getting his guy removed. <laughs> Does give him an extra block though, doesn't it? Oh, bien, on peut voir le Which isn't nothing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> this guy's fucked in here with tentacles. <laughs> Surrounded by the tentacles. <laughs> I could go and protect him a bit because he's a big target, isn't he? Now? put him there then he's gonna block and get the card in there so I probably wanna go here. He could dodge in, but his ball carries on the bench, isn't it? So, yeah. the ball sack isn't so dangerous. Oh, yeah, Hello, calcium. Do you know what? I've just realized I've got no idea what you do for a job, calcium. I don't know if you want to share, obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to. But, um, I would have been a key worker if I hadn't quit Royal Mail. And I tell you what, if I hadn't quit Royal Mail before, <laughs> before coronavirus, I would have quit once it happened. <laughs> Cause fuck that, <laughs> fuck their job. My God, handling all of the hang, handing all of the posts from people who've got it. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Don. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, what cousin? He beats people up. <laughs> he fucking beats people up. How is that essential? <laughs> <laughs> he kicks fuck out of people on a regular basis. <laughs> oh yes, the greed for nothing, glorious. Didn't even need stun firm then. <laughs> yes, Skuro. <laughs> yeah, BZO. <laughs> Fucking Boris for one. Get straight on that calcium. Ah, I see, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no offence, but uh, a dance version's way better. Beating the fuck up panic buyers. Hey, look, you can't blame panic buyers. <laughs> There's reason to panic, isn't there? It's not stupid to panic. If you've got a reason to panic, it's not stupid to panic, is it? Look a dog. Just don't hurt him, all right? Ah, oh, you fuck cunt. Oh. Getting tough to protect the ball now, isn't it? I could pie him then, one, two, three, four, five, six, hit his core pommer and switch around. But. 
It's asking a lot. He's got a fish for a power there. And if I don't get it, blitz with him and then move over this way. Yeah, all right. No, don't get it. <laughs> Fuck me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can put a player there. This hasn't gone well. Dodge him out. Of course it did. Instant fail. Of course it. Of course it was. How how would it have been anything other than a fail? <sighs> yep, all dead in side. Instant one, yeah. Because I couldn't get a pal on three dice. <laughs> or a push power, because I had tackle, of course. That wasn't good enough. Yeah, it doesn't matter that it was a three plus, it was a one. That's all that matters. What you the dice that you roll is all that matters, not what you needed. As long as it's a one or something. He's got so much dodge. Like at least I've got some tackle mans. Not that it mattered in that situation, I still had to use a reroll. He's gonna go for the dodge blitz. One, two, three, no, he's not. Hey, greed. I thought he was gonna greed, he didn't. I thought he was gonna greed that. Ooh la la! <laughs> really shut down his fucking dodging game, haven't I? Yeah. Fucking brilliant. Dirty players facing off. <laughs> right. Right, knocking him down would be nice, wouldn't it? Yay, powered him without tackle. Oh, 
Je préférerais encore me faire uriner sur un chien de bande que de me faire de sa coupe. Oui, mais j'ai entendu dire qu'il ne pouvait plus enfiler ses chaussures tout seul. On retrouvera peut-être ce joueur plus tard, s'il se réveille. Right. How how desperate is this situation? Two more turns after this. It's pretty desperate. The final damage uh, VIP by kicks was three dead warriors and then I sacked my ball carrier and I sacked my block guard armor seven guy. <laughs> so ended up losing 700 TV. It's before moving the ball because that did GFI with the ball carrier. So if I'd <laughs> if I'd used the reroll on the hit, then maybe I wouldn't have GFI'd, and then maybe I could have moved him to here, and then I could have moved him to like here, and then maybe dodged him out or something. Might make playoffs, Kilmatronix. It's all down. It's all down to this game, really, whether it make playoffs or not. If I can win this game, probably make playoffs. If I don't win this game, probably don't make playoffs. That's pretty much how it goes. This is this game is pretty much a must win for me. To be honest. Pretty much a must win game. There's the ball. Incredible, you can't go wrong with a decent ball person. It's not thirteen hundred, it's like seventeen hundred with a with a journeyman. It's with a journeyman it's seventeen twenty. It just it just shows how ludicrous my team was before this. Despite the fact that some people thought I didn't have well, they thought <laughs> either they didn't think that I had the best team in Rebel, or they thought I was being a big head somehow for saying that I had the best team in Rebel. But I clearly did have the best team in Rebel <laughs> because it's it's not even that bad after losing seven hundred TV. <laughs> so you know there is that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether they were actually, you know, dumb enough to believe that I didn't have the best team in Rebel, which they could have been. <laughs> they could have been that dumb, it's possible. I really want to punch him and, and push down this side, but obviously I don't have the movement, do I, with a Chaos Warrior, so I'm going to have to blitz this Fen guy. I'd love to go left, but I just can't. I could blitz him, but then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI, GFI to get in range, which is rough, isn't it? If it was a, if it was a Beastman, it'd be so much better. I also need the power. I mean, I could going this way is more desirable. Obviously, it is more desirable to go this way. I could just go for the GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is so much better. Views to go this expressed way. in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> All right, fuck it then. One, two, three, four. I've got to go through his square. Let's get someone in scoring range first. That's a good idea, isn't it? There you go. Screen that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll all fin it. Ooh, I needed that. <laughs> Flip 
split me, guys. One, two, three, four, five. So we can be here. Do I GFI again? Probably have to. Woo! Double GFI to base him. Run away, flat far! <laughs> On your bike, Sonny Jim. <laughs> it's nice knowing you, mate. <laughs> Haven't murdered anything. Made removals, though. Made KOs. Made some KOs. Obviously, haven't fucking murdered anything. No, Flatfart KO'd himself on the first block that he made, Kilmatronics, and didn't recover for the entire game against Sage. So he was safe. He knew what was coming. Flatfart had a vision of the match. And he thought, fuck this, I'm out of here. Instantly. <laughs> Instantly. He was like, fuck this. <laughs> Removed himself and stayed out for the entire game. On, on turn two, I believe. Because turn one, I, uh, I blitzed a dirty player. Turn two. Oh, maybe it's turn three. Turn three, I think, is when he removed himself. For the entire game. Good old flat fat. It's a pretty good, pretty good drive. This wasn't it. I had a bit of luck on the hits. He played very passively. <laughs> well, this is a waste of an apple, but I've got three. J'ai l'impression que ce joueur nous a quitté pour de bon. Mais enfin, la vie continue, comme on dit. Pas la sienne, bien sûr. Yeah, I've got no. I lost 700 TV in one game, Darkest Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Volpe's, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've got a feeling he's going to mark the ball, yeah. Terrifying. Terrifying prospect. There we have it. That's disappointing, isn't it? So I've got to push him. I've got to pow him on three dice. And then push him. And then push him. I've got all the things I need, I think. I don't need to think too much. Fuck off, man. What's even the point of having tackle, honestly? What is the fucking point in tackle? Oh, 
Plus de porteur est libre de ses mouvements. Glorious. Right, so unlikely to lose now at least. That's something, isn't it? I haven't done any damage though. Yeah, I didn't understand CG, but yeah, congrats. That makes sense, doesn't it? Unless he's just saying computer generated. <laughs> yeah, t self, yeah. Ten dice, one pal. Classic gym dice, isn't it? Couldn't get. Yeah, that's probably it. Is he gonna go for a one turner here? Nah, I don't believe he is. And if he does, then it's less hits. <laughs> Couldn't get. <laughs> yeah, I could have done a chain push on Raton, but I would have had to move the ball carrier back, and it wasn't that simple because I'd have had a GFI to run around the back. So it wasn't. It wasn't so easy to. To do the to get it and would have had to power that other guy and stuff so that the chain push wasn't that easy but three dice to get a push pow is pretty good odds isn't it and then the other two just needing pushes so it wasn't it wasn't crazy to uh to do it <laughs> sorry dog is done I could have chained my ball carrier, but I've chained my ball carrier back and then make a GFI. So that, I like it would have worked in that regard. But, um. It was. It was still not ideal. I think it was better to just go for the power with three dice. Well, push power with three dice. Hey, get the ref saving us from him getting a bribe and massacring the team. Glorious. Okay, well, I'm glad the deaths are continuing, isn't it? That's good. Two cars this game and two deaths. <laughs> uh, stadium is a sandwich kiosk. No throw up or get the ref. Uh, VIP sort of the morning because um because I thought I don't really care about winning games with, like not winning games with a riot whereas I care more about somebody getting a bribe to be able to foul my players more or you know throw a rock just killing a player so it's just pure pixel hugging the sandwich games pure pixel hugging in a league like rebel maximum pixel hugging All for naught. All for naught, as I was, it was all undone in one game anyway. Ten men for the second half isn't bad. He could have ten, or at least be down a decent player. Doesn't look like it from the people running out. Now the warrior came back. 
of course it did. So he's got 11 and he's missing no good players. Fantastic. I'm really happy. Yeah, just play well. Like playing well matters a fuck. <laughs> if only playing well mattered. If only. It did, yeah. Yes, they're all back. <laughs> Yeah, it was disappointing though to only make KOs, wasn't it? And then they all came back. That's pretty unlucky. So I have been out bashed. <laughs> Despite that kind of, you know, kind of dominant first half. Nothing to show for it going into the second, apart from the touchdown. It's for the. It's a playoff six pointer, Darker Stone. It's a playoff six pointer because whoever wins out of us two will probably qualify. If it's a draw, there's still a lot to play for. But if one of us wins, then um, we've pretty much qualified. Well, yeah, kill, but it's not—it's too late to, to get relegated now. I'm in the playoff hunt, so I can't—I can't get relegated on now. A bit late to get relegated. So I think the strategical thing to do is just uh, like I don't want to fucking lose for like 26 real weeks. Like, literally 26 real weeks of losing on purpose is not something I want to do. Even if it's the best thing to do. I don't want to fucking lose 26 games in a row on purpose. <laughs> you know, even though it's the best strategy, it's just not something I want to do. And then... So, the only other thing to do is, uh, yeah, is, is, is battle on in the top division. And, you know, try to get results. Or... Um, or re-roll Woody's. Yeah, Jahinian, that may be the best one, yeah. Yep, that may be the best one. Definitely not pro elves. Wood elves. Wood elves are the best elves. None of the other elves are wood elves, so therefore... They're not as good as wood elves, are they? Outrageous, no AV breaks. I just imagine somebody got KO'd and it's, it's fine, isn't it? <laughs> no, Mipper, no. <laughs> no. Um, rebel people do, but uh, I hate going stand firm over piling on. I think it's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Or at least every other season in Sester's side. Obviously, if you make the playoffs, you make the playoffs, don't you? Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> oh, in Garrett, yeah. Rebel people love. Oh, brilliant, another death. Yeah, that's, that's lovely. I'm glad that the only cars are still deaths. This is really fun, isn't it? Three dead this game. Two apples. <laughs> and one was a fucking journeyman. The fuck is this, honestly? Four dead last game, three dead this game. Oh, incest aside. It's a bit. It's a bit much in it. It's a bit strong, seeing as people are actually dying from it. No, I would take tackle after piling on, potentially. So like, you know, what's what what's this guy got? What's this guy got? What's this guy got? So that could have been piling on into the stand firm. 
and then his legend skill could be tackle, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I thought that I thought that the apples were a decent shot. Him, that's all right, isn't it? Ça ressemble furieusement à un vieux spectacle traditionnel d'Estalie. Yeah, if panning on cost a reroll, I wouldn't take it. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair shout, then. That's a Jim foul. See? Sage kills my guy when he does that. What do I do? Fucking get sent off for a fucking stun. Just dice, innit? It's just fucking dice, man. What a shit game. What a genuinely fucking shit game Blood Bowl is. I think probably quitting is best for me. I could be a full time. I could be a full-time uh, toilet roll gatherer, beating people up and taking their toilet roll, that seems pretty good. Disappointed that I showed him how to do three dice blitzes. <laughs> Another death? <laughs> okay, it was a perm, but still. That's all the apples gone. <sighs> On two deaths and a stat down. He could, yeah, Master Zen. Yeah. I like how I've appled three cars. Still taken two. You know, he's he's taken none. Something eatable. Why though, when I've got fucking three apples? Like, I've only got a few players. <laughs> I only got four players. I don't give a fuck. Kilmatronics. I don't. Uh, Incestus. I don't give a fuck about the team now. <laughs> Why should I eat anything? <laughs> I'm ready to just fucking quit. Quit this team. Draw's probably not enough. Because I've got Sean, man. Like, the chance of him doing perms is so low, even though he's made fucking four Kaz and they've all been perms. And fucking Sage made fucking seven Kaz and four of them were perms. So, eleven of my last Kaz, eight have been perms. It is meant to be one in three, right? So, the chance of taking another perm is fucking really fucking low. So, I didn't want to eat that. There's, there's no reason to eat it, unless 
you just have a feeling that you're going to be the most unluckiest guy in the world. Which, given the evidence, maybe I should fucking believe that. I'm not saying they do, what I'm saying is... What the fuck? I don't know what you're saying, you're not true. Are you, are you all fucking bonkers? <laughs> I didn't say any fallacy. <laughs> I said it's, there's no reason to eat it because I shouldn't take any more cars. Because it's a one in three chance, right? Even though I've been super unlucky previously. It doesn't mean that I'm going to continue to be unlucky, does it? So the chance of him making, you know, a Kaz that's brutal in the remaining turns, not that high. Chance of him making a Kaz at all in this half, not that high. One. Oh, the bot. Fire bot depends. Uh, I thought he said uh, the, like wizard. I was going to say one because it's a fire bot. Um, I fall because it's a lightning bot. Right. Can I go there and then I've got two guards? Guard on either side of him, but there's a guard there, so it doesn't really matter. It depends. It depends on. Depends on the board's d board. In bash, it's different because it. No, it doesn't. Not at all active. No, it uh, for a bash team, it depends on like the board's the game state and how much, like you know, how many players knocking over can give you blocks from and stuff. So it's it's interesting when it comes to like bash teams. Um, for like getting the ball, I think if you can knock over any one of three and get a good shot at the ball. It's better than a lightning bolt. But you could argue with two, it's almost, you know, it's almost as good with two, but with three, it's it's then it's worth it, isn't it? If any one of the three gets you 2D on the ball, then, um... Because obviously you've got a chance of knocking over more than one, and you've got a good chance of getting your hands on the ball. But it's a lot different with Bash, because obviously Bash, just the knockdowns could, you know, rip his cage apart. Get your claw mighty hits, whatever that you wouldn't have got without them, without taking down a guard or whatever. So, could have done, yeah, could have done again. My, my players were down though, these, these two guys were down, these were out of the way, so I didn't feel like it was great payoff. I mean, going for attrition is almost always a terrible idea for a fireball. Like a fireball for attrition, almost always a terrible idea. This player has been more fier to be resté debout. The plus dur sera la chute. Oh, nice. Lots of pushes this turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Amratan. Exactly, that's it. That's exactly it. The chance of profiting from it. Exactly. Not the values of the players or anything. But the chance of... It, like, you know, winning you the game. That's what you've got it for, right? That's what you spent 150k on. So hopefully win the game when you do it. Like, now, this isn't bad, right? There's four of them. If I knock down the ball, then, um, then we've got things. If I knock down either of these, he could, he could get to the, well, no, knock down him, he could get to the ball. Uh,
to block him. I think it's possible here. It's four players. If he goes down, then um doesn't really help, does it? If both of those go down, then it's 2D on the ball, but without tackle. If he goes down, it doesn't really help. Apart from getting the hit on him, which you could get anyway. Not really, actually. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, to make the hit. That does leave us all very exposed through the middle. We just blitz him. Chain him onto there. That's like safer, isn't it? Yeah, nice stuns, very nice stuns, yeah. Can't 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 complain about that, can I? Do I just one day him? I could do. Yeah, that's the thing, Papa Piccolo. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot to it, isn't it? It's not just an easy question, really. You, you, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, the biggest thing about the fireball is that it, it's more chance of it not do not doing nothing, isn't it? Which people people forget. It's not just about the likelihood of a good outcome. It's about the likelihood of a bad outcome. Now he's in a bit of a trouble, isn't he? Now it's still like just having the wizard's good, because that puts him in more trouble. The fact that he's, you know, these stuns and that knockdown, and now he's got the wizard as well. No, don't worry, I'm return um, in the first division of Rebel and in the playoffs of CCL. There's lots, um, there's lots of people who I think make bad fireball decisions or lightning bolt decisions. And obviously it's just my opinion, and it doesn't mean that I'm I'm right and they're wrong or anything. But you know, it's not like everyone agrees. <laughs> could be a bolt here. Cause maybe he's gonna. I knew that I was leaving this open here, but obviously could bolt a fireball here potentially. Yeah, it is hard to answer. Yeah, it's it's not so much a stupid question; it's just a hard one to answer. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You shouldn't you shouldn't think about. Well, I mean, I, it depends as well. Also, it depends like how dire your situation is, isn't it? But like, oftentimes, trying to get ridiculously lucky is the best chance 
that you've got because if you don't get ridiculously lucky you're not going to win don't like what he's doing here well I mean I don't mind it but I don't think it's a great idea whatever it is yeah, it's a terrible spot to be in, yeah. Yeah, Vulpies. But like Sage knew he had to get lucky versus me to beat me, didn't he? You know, with the uh, with our uh, teams in 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 this league. Sid knew he had to get lucky to beat me. So, so you know, that's why, that's why he did the bad foul on turn one. Now, obviously, the ordering was terrible whether he tried to get try to get lucky or not. But getting a bribe and hope you get super lucky with it and stuff and, and things like that. It's fair enough if that's the only way you're going to win is by getting super lucky. Then you try to get super lucky, don't you? Yeah, exactly, Billy. Exactly, that's the thing, isn't it? So, it's horrible when you've got to try and get lucky, but obviously sometimes you do have to. Tentacles, oh, didn't, didn't work. Failed his dodge and got cast. What? See, that's why tentacles is shit. <laughs> if tentacles hadn't been on, he wouldn't have got cast. <laughs> if tentacles had worked, he wouldn't have been cast then. So anyway, that's that's what happens when I do a fucking fireball, right? That's what happens when Jim does a fireball. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it was a great fireball because even knocking him down gives us a hit on the ball, right? Knocking him down is the dream because then he just goes straight forward and hits the ball. So hit him down was the dream, or the ball carrier. So any one of those three was great. Even he's all right because then flat flat and go one, two, three, four, five, cheer fine, hit the ball. So any one of those four going down was great. So it was the only bad result was all of them failing was literally the only bad result. So yeah, it happened. Of course it did. I've got a GFI here for the, uh, what's it called? Uh, friendly trap. Is he just stood up there? I'll push him in here and see what happens. See if he stands firm. Is it at the moment? No, it's uphill. Fuck me. Oh, he's not guard, fuck's sake. He's the one that isn't fucking guard. What a tit. <laughs> Why is the one without guard? Hey! Cheeky 1D, pal.
one in sixteen. One in two, four, eight, sixteen. Yeah, one in sixteen. One in sixteen, and it was the only bad result. <laughs> the only bad result. Because any other, yeah, it's brutal, isn't it? Any other, uh, any other result, anyone going down would have given us two dice on the ball. <laughs> any of those, fifteen out of sixteen results gets us two dice on the ball. <laughs> It is true. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, okay, the ball carrier going down. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, wouldn't have needed a 2D. Yes, that's true. 2D or better then. I just neglected to uh, include the or better, but yes. <laughs> Somebody else would have caught it. That's true, BZ <laughs> BZL with a 200 IQ. Yeah, that's, that's a given, isn't it? If I'm gonna pop the ball loose, someone's gonna fucking catch the scatter. Yeah. Good shout, Bezel. Bezel! Are you done with GTA, by the way, Bezel? Because you said you were out a couple of times, but then you were out. Were you just not playing this weekend? Or are you out? Completely. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Hello, we we're gonna do the CMC. We've got Muppet Pac Man now. And we can still, you know, mess about and have a laugh with Fault Force, but he just killed the uh, killed with CMC, didn't he? Now he hands off now that the uh, now that the wizard's gone. Um, <laughs> just full force was just too annoying when it came down to like, you know, trying to play properly. <laughs> that is only so much you can take before you think, oh god, this is just fucking boring, isn't it? And I found it pretty fucking boring, to be honest. Eventually. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Is that a bit too early to do that? Probably. Can't chain him. Can't chain him. Could push him, blitz him, 1DB him, and he's a blood stepper. I think blitzing him so he can't get forward is probably the best thing, isn't it? Oh my fucking god. No wonder they think fucking Stan Firm is good. <sighs> Jim Powell's. <laughs> no good. D. Oh no, he's got guard! Shit! I was like, I'll take the push so I can 1D his claw bomb, but I can't because he's got guard! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Couldn't one dice the Chaos Warrior? No. 
could have done one dice anything. Did Mario also next game yet? Yeah. He's got guard. Perfect. There's no. There's nothing more. All three of these guys blocked him. N'es-tu pas nostalgique de la FAE, Bob? Pas des masses, Jim. Maybe he's a fury sure roll. I mean, if I if I'd thought about getting the one D on him, I w if I realised he had guard, I would have probably rerolled the two D from flat flat. But then I'd have really wanted to get. I wanted to use the reroll on this one D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God knows we can't knock him over with fucking tackle. One D would have been good if if I'd had a reroll for it. Couldn't one do that? How could I one dice him? He ain't got he ain't got guard. He ain't got guard, and he's string three. Un petit somme, et il nous reviendra peut-être tout à l'heure. I could have one do the warrior. He <laughs> was he done? All oh, right, yeah, I could have done that. costly turn. That was such a costly turn, wasn't it? All of them just whiffing on him was terrible. <sighs> He's got guard. Oh, I didn't even hit him. So it's just a dodge and a GFI to hit the ball. Wow, as if he's let me do that. Wow! Right, that's that's crazy. Can I do anything better than that? Jimmy, just think of what a good coach would do, and then do that for China. For China, I could pow him, then pow him, and then have him ready to do something. I guess. Right, no pow that. So I guess just do this then. I can't believe he, he left that on. I mean, that was that was way too easy, wasn't it? On dirait que le marchand de sable est passé. Faites attention à lui. C'est un escroc de première. Uphill into another uphill. That's not good. He could he can two D him, but it doesn't achieve anything, does it? I guess knocking him down is all right. But I think dodging him out and then maybe dodging him out as well is better. I'm strength five, he's strength four. So I'm two dicing him whether he's here or not. So I'll definitely do the dodge out first. Right, so obviously this is... It's just got more chance of doing something, but he can just 2D me and pick up the ball, can't he? Whereas if I, if I dodge and go here, or here, then it just gets a lot harder for him. 
because now there's strength four dudes around the ball. Not like pounding him just doesn't do anything, does it? Well, it does. Filling and dodge is terrible. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be there. But then the guard's better. This this one could be better. This square could be better. Or this square. But yeah, not there, because then it's obviously an easy chain. That's strength five, dude. But, um... Yes, you're not meant to be offering advice. Yes, Jaleel, you're not meant to. But I'm not asking it, so it's all right. I'm not asking for it. But, um... This is the thing, palling him doesn't really do a lot, does it? Because he's not one dicing him anyway. So palling him wouldn't be that good. Being here means that he gets hit by him or him. So like there's a certain amount of value for well, he can't get hit by him. So being here just means he gets punched by him. But it means he's not around to do anything else. Failing the dodge is bad. But making it's good, isn't it? Maybe here. Or here. Then it's on the ball, isn't it? Y'a plus qu'à se pencher pour ramasser le ballon. Oh bah, y'a qu'à. Je suis optimiste. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like obviously failing it is really bad. End Making turn, it's really good. For fuck's sake. Not trying End it. The fucking turn, man. I don't think was that much better than failing it, you know? Whereas passing it was way better than than casting this guy from the block. I don't think. Ah, putting him next to the ball gives him a chain away, but I've got strength five, so. Yep, failing it would have been so shit, but it just so it's too easy to clear the ball. That's the problem. Failing it would have been terrible, but making the two DB, making the two D on him wouldn't have really done anything, you know. Really wouldn't have been do, done much. I think it was better getting his strength five in. Letting him get his strength five in was worth it. Making it not easy for him to get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could just scatter anyway, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably be the rules next season, Basil. Yes, he's just going for the scatter. And the instant knockdown, of course. No, he's not going for the scatter. Alright, tell a lie. I guess he doesn't need to scatter it, does he? Yeah, dwarves. Dwarves and Nurgle are definitely more stand firm, aren't they? I can just he can just punch away here. This guy's in scoring range. Only one player in scoring range. Only one player in scoring range if he fails this pickup. Oh, you bastard. He only had one player in scoring range. If he'd fail that pickup, just blitz him and block him, and then he's. Well, not even. Don't even block him, just blitz him, and he was done. Shit.
So we dodge GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI. Or one D. One, two, three, GFI. Same as just doing this way, isn't it? Okay. Another perm. My God, man. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Honestly. This fucking team. <sighs> this fucking oh, you team. fucking bell end! Right, it's a dodge double GFI. If he hadn't powered in, one, two, three, he could have just done it, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Pushing him back doesn't really help us. There's not a lot of chance here, is there? But there's some chance, I guess. How about just having it right in front of your killer, mate? How about couldn't have made it easier for you? How's that sound? Pretty good, yeah? Yeah. We've done the 1D with him and then he'd done the blitz. Then he wouldn't have been able to reach anyway. Alright, there's something there. Oh my god, man! Right, thank god I fucking badly hurt. What the fuck is this, though? Oh my god! Six cars. Oh my god! Six cars, five of them burns. <laughs> and a fucking draw. Ah, I guess one in three we, we fucking. One in three we, we win. Slightly more because he could fail. He could fail the GFI as well. He's a three-two to win to to draw, isn't he? What's the What's this? Oh, he's AV seven. I was hoping he was like minus movement or minus edge. Don't matter about moving these guys. <laughs> Unless you're gonna punch that beast man. <laughs> Maybe massacres, that's been a while. I mean I've had some luck before all this. Double six. <laughs> God, if I didn't have bad luck this season, I wouldn't have any luck. Wrecked. By the way, completely wrecked. Fireball hit, none out of four. And then he rolled a 3 2 on the last turn to fucking nab a draw. He still like he was still lucky to draw. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> a complete whiff on the wizard. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't have done much could more, could I lean, Gary? I couldn't have done much more. <sighs> Fucking hell. I just need, <laughs> I just need to play for the kills, don't I? That's all I need to fucking do, clearly. Clearly just need to play for the kills, silly me. Mm. 
silly me not doing that. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice of you now. Nah, I can't get a ride. Oh, yeah, can get a ride. Can get a ride. You're right. I don't know why I'm trying to get SPPs on Fat Fat. <laughs> it's totally irrelevant. <laughs> totally irrelevant for Fat Fat. He doesn't need the SPPs. He killed a guy. Well done, Fat Fat. No one fucking cares. <laughs> <laughs> fucking show off. <laughs> <laughs> when I say the next games and playoffs, I mean next season, not this fucking season. Just for clarification. <laughs> no, I hope he gets no good luck at all this season. My God. <laughs> That's the last thing I would do is wish him luck this season. <laughs> Oh, go on, you fuck. Yes. Four SPPs. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. It's not a bad start. <laughs> yeah, exactly so in the morning, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's already a legend. I don't know why. I shouldn't have even given him a block. Fucking one on winnings. <sighs> At least we're not paying 50k spam. Oh, and you got MVP. Well done, Flap Fart. You take all my SPPs for me, why don't you? Hey, Seven for Flap Fart. Brilliant. Dodgers were decent for ones. Catchers weren't. GFIs were incredible. 26, 42, 27. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit pushy, isn't it? Makes Stan Firm look a lot better when you roll an inordinate amount of fucking pushes. And you got 25, 27, 27. Total normal. Tentacles. Dodgers were fine. Catches weren't... Were, but they were scatters, so it wasn't. When he made four GFIs. Fireball. <laughs> None out of four. <laughs> ah... Very sad to not win that game. If only the wizard had been better. Or if I'd saved it. Because he was still under some pressure even with the wizard fail. But I think that was a really good chance to use the wizard. Just unlucky. Hello, Chunter. Fourteen <laughs> seventy. <1470. laughs> <laughs> Uh, outrageously not a perm on Don't Call Me Kev. Outrageously. He was permed, wasn't he? But the apple made it not a perm. And he was permed. And some lucky bastard was badly hurt at the end. So, five, six, seven, eight players. And the next one's, I think, against Kedji Roos. It was not an easy game either. And then the last one is against Sean Mann's. 2000 TV Nurgle team. No, I say that 2360 Nurgle team. That's the last week, which is going to be horrendous, obviously. And uh, Kedjeru has 1760 Necros. He's he's still got. He was money about how bad his team is. He's still got six guard, two dirty players. No, he's got. Yeah, that's a dirty player. Two dirty players, six guard, four mighty blow. His team's still better than mine. So, yeah, rough. I really needed to have won that game. I really, I really kind of needed to win that, I think. Pretty unlucky not to. But yeah, I got a two point lead, so winning a draw will be enough. We'll see. All got killed by Sage Dillion. All those games of building it were just 
undone in one game versus Sage as he diced the living fuck out of me. And then, to be fair, Yorick diced the fuck out of me there as he just made kill after kill after kill. <laughs> but luckily, I had three apples for that game. Otherwise, I'd have another two dead players on the team. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.